Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of another trip to Trader Joe's. Videos I do for people who are either on the stationary bike and want to be entertained a little bit or you want to feel like you have a partner even though that partner only talks, doesn't listen and uh, also for people who are sick if you're in bed and uh, you need to have some entertainment at least you can see a little bit of uh, California and uh, today we are going to talk about tire pressure because there's a lot of myth around it a lot of um, old school uh, conventions or you know um, usually the old school mechanics will tell you that you, you can only use the your tires full pre pressure that's gonna be better for you for the but research uh, says that it's not like that it's actually uh, the reality according to the research that, that we have and the tires that we have in 2018 says that there is a, an optimal uh, range of, of tire pressure that you can uh, use and it's below the recommended pressure from the manufacturer so let's say you're this this tire this is a specialized armadillo it says from 110 to 125 you never want to use 125 to, to begin with forget about the max that's only if you're if you're uh, uh, rolling on a velodrome or a, a perfect uh, smooth surface so you can go 15 20 30 percent below that uh, and also on um, you can change it according to the weather and uh, you know for grip the lower the lowest it's gonna be for the rain or snow where you have uh, you want to have more rubber contacting the, the street you know the, the, the surface and the highest would would be when it's dry like in summer but that's gonna be way below the recommended uh, pressure so me I'm using uh, uh, let me see it's a armadillo it says 110 to 125 I'm putting 85 in the front I think and then on the back I have um, 90 but I weigh like 170 172 and I'm not a big guy so I'm a 5'7 so um, that feels good for me the concept is like uh, I like to compare things I like to you know, do my analogies you know I think that's a good way to understand stuff now imagine a basketball if you have a, a flat basketball 
it's uh, you, you won't be able to dribble it because it's going to be on the ground too too short and then if you have on the other hand uh, too much air on the basketball it's going to be too bouncy and hard to control so that's what happens with the tires when you're rolling on the street like this if you look there's a lot of holes and imperfections on the roads and uh, railroad tracks potholes dead bodies no, I'm just kidding um, but you know the tire has to uh, work almost like a, like a shock absorber so the best thing is to have uh, a cushion effect on the tire uh, the way the how much cushion that's gonna be up to you and uh, how you feel it you know uh, but right now I'm using a lower pressure and it feels great it feels like, like if I have a my road bike feels almost like I had a shock absorbers you know and I'm going way below I mean at 85 the other reason I'm doing that is because my bike is made was designed for um, 23 uh, size of the tire, you know, 23 the, the skinny tires, and I'm using 25s, which are a little wider, and that. Uh, that's why I'm going oh and then uh, they don't fit this tire the I mean the Continentals the gator skins are fitting well even at a uh, full pressure but I bought this uh, armadillo specialized ar armadillo and I, I really like the tires it has a little bit of thread and it's nice uh, but it's uh, it was cheaper too but it uh, is expanding too much when I when I put a hundred it rubs against the brake so uh, I, I'm just using like 80 80 85 and uh, it's working okay it's working like I th think that's the the optimal pressure for me and then a little bit of bounce to it but not bounce like the other bounce that I was talking about the, the bouncy tire just uh, wastes uh, energy this one is more like a cushion has a cushion effect so that's what I want to say today but remember old and, and then part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I went see this hole over here that feels okay with it I don't even have to slow down see the see that the reason why I did this because I went to the mechanic told him about that but it's an old school mechanic. I don't want to mention any names or any uh, stores. It's uh, according to uh, one of the guys there. He's been doing this for like 40 years, you know. So he's really old school. And first thing he told me, oh, you need to put a, a thinner tire and bring it up to full pressure it's gonna be better for you and yeah you don't want to ride low pressure and 
blah 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 so when you want to do this don't argue with the mechanic because just like you don't want to argue with somebody that is cooking your food uh, you don't want to argue with the person that is fixing your bike they gotta like you <laughs> so just tell them that you know you don't mind having a lower pressure or that you like it or just take it take it uh, home and well before you ride just um, re redo the the pressure you just let it lose some of the air or get your pump 